from Ronnie, albeit a poor break-off shot from Stephen. Say it's on still only 4 1, but has Steve McGuire oh. missed his chance to to really lay a, a big foundation to win this match? You all know how quickly when Sullivan can accumulate frames if he gets going. 12. I wouldn't rule out yet. Rona Sullivan leading this session 5 4. 13. Red, he's on this one. 20. If you could get a nice angle on the blue, he'd settle for that. 21. There is one loose red, and that's where he's looking now if he left the cue ball there. In such a position in Potsdam, he could bring please, other reds into play. Okay. And that's the intention. I don't think you play the run-through for the black. 26. I think that's a bit risky. I think you play the screw back. And it's worked out nicely. Well, I say nicely, wrong angle on the pink. He's going to have to take the cue ball in and out of the ball end, so ball colours to avoid. And did it with <coughs> a minimum of fuss. 33. 30. Well, for most of the season, you would say that's frame over now, the way the balls are situated. Well, he's not hit top gear yet, but it's slowly coming. No more way to tell with Ronnie O'Sullivan is with that cue ball. He's got that under control. 42. That's a sure sign that he's focused and in the zone. 49. That's into the red. You'd be on this one. He didn't have to do much with the cue ball, so in this case of rolling it in. Well, he had to do a little bit. 50. He had to inject a little bit of pace. And considering he played that well, he's not. Perfect on the black. When I say he wasn't perfect on the black, he, he was forced to play the cannon. 57. And that cannon could have worked out a little bit better than it has. It was just the angle he had on the black. He had to play the cannon to keep the white at this end of the table. As I say, and it could have worked out a bit better. This is a testy red if he's playing it to the right middle. Because they've looked a bit nippy, these middle pockets. The look and the, the body language around the table is in a different league to the first four friends. 72. 73. Eighty eight. Eighty nine. Ninety five. Ninety six. The black for the sixth century of the tournament so far. 
That's what people come to see. And an excellent contribution there from Ronnie. 103. 104. Three more frames to be played in this session. Remember, best in 19, nine frames in the first session. And this match is played to a finish tomorrow morning. And 11. Hundred and forty. Hundred and eighty. Ice break made so far by Lou Alcian. Oh, well. Uh, the blue was in. And well, well, here we go again, maybe. He's already won five frames in this final in which Karen Wilson has not potted a ball. is just uh, slowing the pink into position behind the pack. Interesting stat, actually, Dave, in the semi-finals and finals. Maybe one frame of, of all three matches to date where there's not been a break over 50. Uh, the standard's very high, and that goes back to the frame in the match with uh, O'Sullivan and McGill, the frame where Ronnie missed those two blacks off the spot. Sixth frame. Eight. Table's been playing well, but the standard has been extremely high. I think it's been a terrific tournament, and one of the things about the Home Nations events, you get to see so many faces you might not norm normally see in tournaments. Thirteen. Forty-three. I think it's to get a little bit more difficult now, if that's possible. So he'll have to, I think, through what he does next. 44. He's a bit straight on the blue. It doesn't leave all that many options. i better just run through into the bunch. A real queuing shot. It's a beautiful effort. Wow, just an absolute joy to watch, isn't it? And that's such a difficult shot to make the red spread. But the top spin he had on the ball, the keyboard 49. just accelerated. They're all coming out tonight, Dave, aren't they, all these shots? Well, if you programmed a computer to play snooker, this is how it would play if you programmed it correctly. Pretty much unplayable. Yes, he's actually got an awkward queuing, despite a brilliant shot like that. He covered it very well. You never know what's going to happen next, but it appears that he's on on this surge of form. Give me a second, please, Ronnie. It seemed enormous to him. I wonder if John Higgins did him a slight favour by winning that tournament in India, just to move ahead of him on the all-time list. I think as O'Sullivan, as his career not, doesn't come towards an end, because clearly it's nowhere near the end, but as he's on sort of the back nine, as it were, he is noticing 56. records more and more and focusing on maybe his place in the game, in the game's history. 57. Well, his place in the game history is right up there always be the debate as to the greatest of all time and people will always say Sullivan or Hendry or even 64 of the trophies named after Steve Davis but 65 when it comes to Stephen Hendry wonderful as he was he wasn't even a professional at the age that Ronnie is now he'd retired from competitive play so snooker's required there's never been anyone as good as this don't care what anyone says well, I'm with you on that. 73. 
Well, it'd be just like him to finish with another century, wouldn't it? Be a proud moment for him to join Higgins on 29 ranking events, going past his boyhood hero, Steve Davis, to collect the Steve Davis trophy. He was in a bit of hibernation earlier in the season while everyone else was playing. He wasn't playing in tournaments, but he's back and, well, is as good as ever. Yes, these home nations events last year proved very difficult to win, difficult to predict who'd win. For the tournament favourite winning it. 94. Mark Selby was high in the, the list of 95. betting for, from the sponsors, but the fact is, despite it being seven matches and best of sevens for a few days, the class of O'Sullivan has come through all of that and he's come from a difficult draw. And right now, at this moment in time, he looks to be playing snooker in a league of his own. Yes, fourth century of the final to win the championship. Corin Wilson had one of his own, but what are you supposed to do against an O'Sullivan in this sort of form? Final thing I'll say, Dave, pot success in the final. 98% pot success in the best of 17 frame final. That's that alone is all you need to know. Yeah, quite incredible. He's missed six pots all day. Well, he's got it all, hasn't he? He's got the skill. He's got the nerve. 114. He's got the self-confidence. He's got the charisma. He's a star that any sport would want involved in any of its events. And in snooker, he's got every shot in the book, and we've seen them today. Thank you. We've seen them again in this winning break. 132 to finish. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Anthony. He's not known for his power. Well, that gorgeous little right back from Sullivan. He's going back to Anthony quickly. His, his cue, actually. The tip end of it is only nine millimetres, which is very thin. A professional snooker player. Chatting to him about that actually earlier today in the practice room. Three. Four. There it is, very thin as I say, and well used, it's a cue he's had for many years, Anthony. Served them well. Nine. Yeah, time for a scan because putting this next black, he's going to have to play some sort of cannon on the next red. See it back for choice of blue or pink. Oh, that's a beautiful shot, just top side of straight. We risk trying to bring reds into play. I think he's got quite a big angle on it, but cue ball should hit that loose red and then power into them. It's just whether he feels, as I say, the cannon on the loose red. Might just take all of the the pace out the cue ball, so he may not be getting into them as fast as he'd like. You see it, it hit that other red, and he just about got it through. What a shot! Sixty, which has potentially set up a frame-winning break. Seventeen. 
Yes, I uh, was worried about catching that loose red too thick, but uh, a beautiful shot in frame three earlier. Played a nice shot in the pink and spread the reds, which was the kind of start of his revival in this match. 23. Thanks. What's up? 24. Thirty one. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. This is the sort of form with which O'Sullivan won the English Open. Forty-four. Three weeks ago. An event in which he made 11 centuries 45 and achieved a 98% pot success rate in the final missing only six balls all day Fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. He's a wonderful blend of technique and artistry. Sixty four. Sixty five. The ripple of applause recognises that that was frame ball barring snookers. Not that there will be any attempt to play for snookers by the time O'Sullivan has finished. Seventy. Seventy one. The fluency, the instinct to play the right developing shot. 77. 78. Outstanding features of O'Sullivan's game. 84. I remember a song actually in the younger days. It was called the 900 number. 85. O'Sullivan's almost there. 92. The last red plus black gives him his 900th century 92. in competition. 93. Wonderful <laughs> 
Oscar. Wonderful. 100. 102. I've been watching Anthony Hamilton for almost all of this break, and he's sitting there just admiring. 105. Watching Ronnie breeze round the table, knocking balls in. He's enjoying it too. 109. Oh, wow. Hampered by the blue, for the red he wants to take. Five. That's a very acceptable alternative though. I didn't realise it cut so easily. Twelve. Thirteen. You see an example of Runner Sullivan choosing 20. to go into the bunch when he still had a loose red. It's starting to look a bit ominous now, this for Yan Bing Tao. Twenty eight. Twenty nine. Thirty-six. Yeah. Colin Humphreys is the referee. Almost messed 42. it up. If he finished touching ball on the pink, as he so nearly 43. did, he's going to break. As it is, as it's looking like the match winning break. Just got time to tell you that as in McGill has gone three one up on David Gilbert. On table two. Fifty eight. Here on table one, this is effectively match ball for O'Sullivan. Fifty nine. Sixty 
56. Yeah, there was a time at two each when when O'Sullivan fluked that red. Had he not fluked it, he probably would have gone 3-2 down, so... Very fine lines in this game, especially on a best of seven. 73. Well, O'Sullivan's definitely going to win, but what's been your impression of Yang Bing Tao, Stephen? Yeah, I've been pretty impressed with him. He's, he's, he's potting, he's obviously very talented. 80. 81. I think he's acquitted himself very well tonight. It's a big 87. occasion for him playing Rona Sullivan in an arena like this. 88. O'Sullivan started with a total clearance, 137. There's every chance that he's going to finish with a century. 93. 94. Here's his tally of centuries for 862. 101. And uh, 101. If he keeps playing for a few more years, he could easily reach the 1,000. 106. <laughs> O'Sullivan led 2 0. He wasn't allowed to pot a ball in the next two frames, but he won the fifth frame and oh attacked the fifth frame and, and polished off the match for the